What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. We are almost to the end of week one. If you've noticed, all of our workouts are one minute exercises. We're actually gonna knock that down to 30 seconds and we're gonna be working legs. The reason why we're doing this is because typically <clears throat> legs are the weakest point on most people's body. And we're talking about flexibility, range of motion, and existing back conditions, okay? So we want to, once again, have a mindset that this is a progressive level of training, meaning every week is just gonna get harder and harder, you're gonna get stronger and stronger, and we're gonna do everything we can to prevent any type of injury or minor setback, okay? Even to the point of you being so sore that you can't follow up on the next workout, okay? So the first exercise that we're going to be doing is called a rack squat, okay? And I would recommend you start off with semi-lightweight. We're going to start from this position. You can either go from a dead clean to a rack, or you can do a swing. It doesn't matter as long as you get in that rack position. We're going to start in the left hand, all right? And we're going to be doing two rounds. So remember, when we switch rounds, we're going to switch hands, okay? So we got 30 seconds on the clock, and we're going to do just... A squat, okay? All right, let's go. Focus on stability and go as deep as you can, okay? And time. All right. So we got a 30 seconds rest, and then we're going to do lunges. So you're going to need two kettlebells or two dumbbells. If you want to use one, that's fine as well. And then we're just going to do a front lunge. We're going to hold them here, and we're going to lunge forward. Okay. You will notice I may not go all the way to my knee on one side because I'm dealing with a fractured toe that's healing and just remember <clears throat> modifications might be necessary so instead of me being able to go you know all the way to the knee this might be where I am that's still forward progress okay or forward momentum all right breathe and let's go slow and controlled and that was the bad side. We made it all the way down, but man, that's painful. Focus on stability. You see how slow I'm going? Time under tension. And time, okay? 30 second break. We're going to get into what's called a goblet squat. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to come to here. Deep squats, okay? Control your breathing. And adjust your weight as needed. Five seconds. Slow your breathing down. All right, <clears throat> let's go to a clean position. Same thing, slow, controlled, focus on that stability between left and right. Get a good deep or as deep as you can, stretch in. Way more important than anything else right now. And time. All right, 30 seconds rest. Next exercise is gonna be a sumo squat. Single kettlebell. <clears throat> Deep breath in. 
stretch if you need to. And for the most part, this is going to be a pretty light workout. Okay, sumo squat. Legs far apart. Come in here, okay? Let's go. Focus on keeping that back straight. Tighten those glutes at the top. Exhale. Make sure you're breathing. Focus on that stability between left and right side. One more. And time. All right. Got a one minute break and we're gonna do one more round of that, okay? <clears throat> Rack squat should be your right side. Deep breath. Stretch if you need to. Thirty seconds. And by the end of this workout, you're probably not going to feel that you got a great workout in. What I'm trying to do is find the balance between what's healthy for weak and injured cores versus getting good, a good workout in, okay? So safety is always a priority. All right. Rack squat. Let's go. Deep, controlled, stability, and breathing. Exhale on that push. And time. All right. Thirty second break. And we're going to get into uh, alternating lunges again. Focus on controlled breathing. Stretch if you need to. Five seconds. All right. You ready? Alternating lunges, let's go. Time under tension. If you need a rest, rest in the up position, the standing. And time. Thirty seconds rest. <clears throat> Get your breathing under control. Sumo squat, or excuse me, a uh, goblet squat. Stretch if you need to. Control breathing is. Very important. All right. Two handed clean, and then we'll start our squats. Two handed clean to a goblet squat. Stability, breathing, and time. 
All right. Last exercise. Now sumo squat. Get your breathing under control. Stretch if you need to. Ten seconds. <clears throat> okay. Last exercise. Feet out. Remember, we're just bending down, coming to a squat, okay? And go focus on that stability between that left and right side. And at the top, squeeze into it. You should feel some pressure. Tailbone area, lower back. One more. And time. All right. One minute. Stretch if you want to. Close your eyes. Control your breathing. Keep your mind clear. Stay present. Get that heart rate down as fast as possible. All right, time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where you are physically as far as injuries, flexibility, things of that nature. So I would highly recommend you leave it right there if you want to do another round and you're familiar with your body and what's going on with it, by all means, get you another round. But like I said, even though you may not be feeling it in your legs really right now due to lack of flexibility, potential weak core or lower back injuries, you may feel it significantly tomorrow and it could put you out of commission for a couple days and that's what we want to prevent. So part of this program is self-control and really learning more about our body so we can kind of assess what's going on with it and care for it before we end up getting hurt or, you know, being out of commission for a couple days. So you guys have a great day and God bless.